when you were talking about going active toes and dead toes. Yes, yes. Are you hopping down? Right into that position. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, again, this is one of those things that, like, some of the stuff I explain, and, and I, I get this. Um, it's not immediately perceivable. Um, mm -hmm. So when I say that, like, imagine how like training attitude is one of the biggest detriments to like progress in jiu-jitsu. If you like, if you go way too hard, most of the time you're not getting any better, or you're getting better very, very slowly. The other huge impediment to progress is what it's called a false positive. False positive is where you get a good result for the wrong reason. So like you learn a move, you're hitting it up, you're like, man, this is awesome. Meanwhile, the move is just hot garbage. It just works because you're 200 pounds and you're a super athlete and you're doing it on white belts, right? So there's a lot of stuff in jiu-jitsu that falls in this category of like, yeah, man, that works, right? Like you're like, well, it works, right? Like, and, and the town I'm from, Nanaimo, it's on Vancouver Island, when I got there, I was the second black belt on Vancouver Island. It, like, it was a bit of a wasteland. And like, if one of the first classes I taught, I was, somebody was asking me a question, I was like, dude, that move really doesn't work. Like, I'm sorry, that move is, and like, I can be pretty blunt about that kind of thing. I'm like, dude, that move is garbage. And he's like, who are you talking about? I get this move all the time. And my response was, on who? White belts in Nanaimo? Like, I'm sorry, I this is gap. Like, you know, if, if that's your barometer for success, Dude, prepare to suck forever because everything works on white belts. All right, so a false positive could be something like, man, I get you all the damn time and it totally works. Okay, but get there against someone who's like a rank higher than you and the same level of athleticism and see what happens. Now, how often do you get that in a role? It might be one out of 10, depending on where you train. What if you're the best guy at your club? You might not have really, literally have to, depending on where you train, what the circumstances are, what training partners, you might literally have no idea what actually works in the like, when I say what actually works like in the context of like higher level competition. What works at the black belt level? What works like kind of like the professional level? So like, you know, when I say black belt level, like purple belt at worlds, if you medal, you're beating ninety percent black belts. That's because you're a professional jiu-jitsu athlete at that point. You're on steroids. You're training three times a day. All that. Stuff. So like, what works at that level? That totally works, right? So that's what I'm talking about. It's like, what's going to work at a relatively professional level? We can extrapolate that that works pretty much anywhere. What works against white belts at a local club could be totally useless. So sometimes you're not even going to feel it. You're like, man, yeah, I know he said live toes, but man, I'm not getting regarded on. I'm just, it still works for me. So, like, I grant that you may not be able to feel it right away, but you will notice when you need to be like mobile against a good, because against a good guard player, you'll get here once in a while, but they'll immediately. Frame, hip escape, and regard. And if, they're, if you're, their knee is across and you're dead toes, you have no chance of sealing the pass. But if you're here and the knee comes in, you're like right away active. You're literally, we're talking at a higher level. We're talking about a couple of tenths of a second are the difference between victory and defeat. So glide toes sometimes gives you two tenths of a second, and that's a colossal advantage. Mm -hmm. Does that? Sorry for the long answer, but no, does that help? Cool. Yeah, it totally helps. It was just I was just curious if that's like. So that you're just... You're yeah, as much as possible. possible. Live to us. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Alright. Let's, uh, let's get some rounds again.